Some drivers around southeast Wisconsin will be looking to get their cars fixed this morning. It comes after heavy hail. The hail was coming down um, in buckets. I mean, it was just coming down to start out with pea size and then became bigger size of golf ball. Insurance companies and body shops about to get very busy as drivers will be repairing damage. Quick bursts of hail hit in many spots in the area. No reports of any injuries, but as we send it over to Brian Goddard, this is about what we were talking about this time yesterday morning. Yeah, we were saying there was going to be those spotty showers, which we got. Not everybody saw the rain, and they had some downpours. No wind, so there was no wind damage, but they did have those thunderstorms, quite a bit of hail. Anywhere from uh, pea size to marble size was very common. It covered the ground in my house in Grafton in about two minutes. It was completely white on the ground. Uh, and then up towards Slinger, uh, right at the intersection of 60 and 41, they had some golf ball size hail and a whole lot of hail up around Port Washington as well. So those 70s and 80s now have been replaced with some colder temperatures and fog this morning. It is 40 degrees uh, in Milwaukee, and that's not including the dampness in the air and the northeast wind at 10 to 20. Wind chills this morning have been dropped down to around the freezing mark. Oh, really? Half mile visibility here in Milwaukee with the fog. The worst of the fog is right along the lakefront, about a mile or so from Racine to Kenosha, two miles in Beaver Dam, and perfect visibility up around Fond du Lac. The temperatures this morning have dropped into the 30s and lower 40s, as I mentioned, but wind chill, look at this. 30 in Sheboygan, also in Beaver Dam, 29.